for almost as long as mankind has been fighting each other on ships, we've been playing games fighting each other on ships. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best naval combat video games. Number 10, Harpoon. Don't be fooled by the endless menus and lack of any visual representation of gameplay, as this game was based off an actual United States Navy war game simulation that was used during the late 1970s and early 80s. Playing as either NATO or the Soviets, you're essentially in the role of a war room officer, with only the satellite imagery and intelligence reports on hand to determine the best possible outcome for victory. For a game that doesn't take any sort of liberties with balancing arsenals or unrealistic viewpoints, it's still surprisingly intense. Though we will admit it's probably not the most accessible game by today's standards. Number 9, Battleships. Being the rare breed that they are, we couldn't help but include one of the first naval combat video games ever. Elite's recreation of the classic board game Battleship, called Battleships, emphasis on the S, eliminates the need for a pencil and paper. Instead, you place your Tetris-shaped warships on the familiar grid and fire in what's called salvo mode, with up to 24 shots a turn instead of the usual boring one. An animated battle sequence follows each player's turn, which is a dramatic visual improvement over sticking a colored peg in a hole. While limited and really dated by today's standards, Battleships is significant in that it marks a transition for naval combat from board games to video games, and thus makes our top 10. Number 8, Steel Diver Sub Wars. This free-to-play game combines a first-person shooter look with optional robust touchscreen controls that faithfully model submarine navigation and combat. Well, somewhat faithfully. Fire. Fire. What makes the game work is the simple, easy-to-use controls and the slow-paced action. It manages to turn something as patience-demanding as submarine warfare and turn it into something fun and exciting without losing the nuances and strategic elements. Throw in team-based multiplayer action, and you have an addictively entertaining submarine action game geared toward a more casual audience. Torpedoes away. Fire. Number seven, Dangerous Waters. CIC sonar, submarine bearing 290, range 5,000 yards. Now we find ourselves in Dangerous Waters, figuratively speaking, an ultra-realistic naval warfare simulator allowing full player control over surface ships, submarines, and aircraft in a modern setting. Empire, Empire, Empire. With a comprehensive manual clocking in at over 500 pages, this naval sim is not for the faint of heart. But those who invest some time into the game will be richly rewarded with over 270 realistically modeled ships, submarines, and aircraft, and a dynamic single player campaign plus a comprehensive mission editor. Players will even have the option to give actual voice commands via microphone to lock in the full naval commander experience. Whether you want to command individual crew stations or focus on the bigger picture as a task force commander, Dangerous Waters is a must have for any serious armchair admiral. Number 6, Silent Hunter 4, Wolves of the Pacific. So little is our loss, so little is thy gain. Our list wouldn't be complete without at least one game dedicated to the tense world of historically accurate sub-warfare. Silent Hunter 4 takes us from the North Atlantic to the Pacific, where you play as an American submarine commander fighting the Japanese during World War II. 
balancing between in-depth realism and accessibility for new players to the genre. The game offers what Ubisoft calls a Hollywood blockbuster experience without sacrificing any of the staggering attention to detail and historical accuracy. Then long eternity shall greet our bliss with an individual kiss. Players can also choose between scripted missions or a dynamic campaign that gives them full control over their own submarine, either following their superior's orders or charting their own adventure. And with top-notch graphics, skippering your own sub has never looked better. A heavenly guided soul shall climb. Number 5. Empire Total War You'd think that a grand strategy game where naval combat plays a relatively small role would have no place on this list. But once you've experienced Empire Total War's naval battles, you'll see why it made the cut. For starters, the naval battles look absolutely stunning. From the action of the battles themselves, right down to the individual crew members moving around on the ships, Total War's visuals do not disappoint. But it's that the game manages to nail the era's naval combat while at the same time making it fit perfectly within the context of the greater gameplay at large. By making naval warfare an integral part of the game, players could see the greater importance that sea power played in the bigger scheme of things. Number 4. Battle Stations Pacific Shifting gears from hyper-realistic simulations to something a little more arcadey, here we have an interesting hybrid action RTS game set in the Pacific during World War II, of course. This sequel to Battle Stations Midway expands to cover the whole war in the Pacific and offers even more remarkable variety to the exciting gameplay. Players can go from having a top-down commander view of the whole battle to getting down to controlling an individual unit, such as piloting a dive bomber or manning an anti-aircraft gun to guiding a submarine, all within the same battle. We got your transmission, Narwhal. A raid group of PT boats and supporting fighters will be there shortly. Just the fact that the game is able to effortlessly integrate so many different kinds of gameplay all while making it fun and thrilling makes this one really stand out in a crowded market of World War II games. Number 3, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Let's be honest for a second. Who actually played Black Flag to tail people and assassinate them? Like Total War, naval combat plays a smaller role within the bigger context of this game. So, color us surprised when it turned out to be the best damn part. The comprehensive upgrade system, a wide range of weapons, and some tough opponents give substance to the naval combat. But it's commanding the jackdaw from the ship's deck that gave players a front row seat to some of the best naval combat action we'd ever seen in a video game. Reminiscent of an old Errol Flynn movie, that Ubisoft was able to successfully capture the romantic, swashbuckling sense of pirate adventures warrants an entry on our list. Number 2, Sid Meier's Pirates. Sid Meier is known for his simple yet deep and rich game design, and Pirates is definitely no exception. Even though it's one of the many elements of this game, the ship-to-ship -ship combat is easy to play but not so easy to master. Finding the right balance of speed and firepower, knowing what type of ammo to use, wind direction, and figuring out the right time to launch a boarding party all add strategic depth to what could have been a straightforward minigame. Instead, Sid Meier's Pirates does what games are supposed to do, make you have a unique experience and loads of fun in the process. And if those 1987 graphics hurt your eyes a bit too much, rest assured that there is a remake with better graphics and a few streamlined systems to boot. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Target hit. The scattering circle shows a shell's impact range.
Number one, World of Warships. Sailing away at number one is none other than World of Warships. This free-to-play massive online game allows players to pick from four different classes of ships from eight different World War II era navies and provides a progression system that includes a mind-boggling array of upgrades, equipment, abilities, perks, and many, many other things. But what really stands out is the intensity of the battles online. Nothing else even comes close to capturing the slow buildup of tension as a battle starts, to the explosive exhilaration of watching your ship go toe-to-toe -to -toe against players from around the world, and seeing your strategy and tactics pay off with a victory. Do you agree with our list? Were the entries on target, or did some miss the mark? Let us know in the comments section, and for more great top 10s and other content published every day, be sure to subscribe to Watch Mojo.